I joined e-mountain e bike racing in 2019, it was just out of curiosity. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it, if it even, even makes sense or not. And I, I rocked up at the first race and I was like, oh wow, I feel like a junior and I don't know anything about it. So, um, you know, every time I, I, I don't know things, I want to learn about them. And so I, I wanted, yeah, to become a better e-mountain bike racer and uh, learn more. And here we go, four years later, I'm still here. Three years ago, 2019, it was like my big, big goals to win worlds and be the first ever e-bike world champion so that meant really meant a lot and uh, I won bronze in 2020 I won bronze in 2022 and actually wanted to retire um, last year that's why what I said to everyone and then I I kept going for different reasons mainly to look after a fellow Swiss racer who was you know a lot of fun to hang out with and uh, I think now I'm at the stage where I'm just, where I can, but I don't have to. And uh, I think that's, uh, I, I love training, I love racing, but I, I don't really have to win those races anymore. And I think that's a very dangerous combination. <laughs> I retired from cross country in 2016 and didn't, didn't really race in 17 and 18. And then coming back, even though, you know, different discipline, coming back on the e-bike, that was a really big step. And it was a, um, a little bit of a identity crisis sometimes, you know, like in, sometimes some days in the year I'm a, I'm a dedicated racer, other, other days in the year I'm in the office, like different world. And it's just like all of the things give me a, a really good balance. If I'm still fit enough, if I'm still good enough, or if I'm too old to do this, but, uh, yeah, as soon as I'm riding my bike, I, I guess I, I'm just riding.